Hello friends, good morning. Welcome to our chemistry class. Today we are going to discuss. Hello friends, good morning. Welcome to our chemistry class. Today we are going to discuss about field desorption technique. In our previous class we have discussed about chemical ionization technique. Today let us start field desorption technique. Okay, see. Before going to enter into this particular technique, first we should know the meaning of desorption. Okay, see, desorption means release of adsorbed substance from a surface. Means, see, if the substance is adsorbed, see, I think you have idea about adsorption and absorption. Okay, absorption that is A B absorption. Absorption is a bulk phenomenon okay next adsorption means ad that is a surface phenomenon okay surface phenomenon okay see means if the adsorbed substance okay get released from the surface is said to be desorption okay see release of adsorbed substance from a surface is said to be desorption okay hope you understood this desorption okay next see this desorption ionization technique involves direct conversion of solid or liquid molecules into gaseous ions directly so in this particular technique that is field desorption technique solid or liquid directly converts into gaseous ions okay next see here the volatile samples or used to produce stable molecular ions so in order to produce the stable molecular ions here the samples means here what type of samples we are using means the samples which are volatile or the samples which are having the property of volatility or used to produce the stable molecular ions okay try to absorb this block diagram to understand the field desorption technique okay see here okay this is tungsten metal emitter okay this is the anode okay this is anode okay the wire like these are means it indicates intercourts electric field okay this is electric field this is anode okay this is cathode and this is tungsten metal emitter okay tungsten metal emitter okay and these are needles so these needles are said to be carbon micro needles okay carbon micro needles okay see here 10 power 7 to 10 power 8 volts or used okay this is the molecular ion okay see here see what's happening here this molecular ion see in our previous class we have discussed the three methods no like proton transfer hydride transfer like that no so here see m h plus so i think this comes under what hydride transfer i think so, sorry this comes under proton transfer okay mh plus this is said to be quasi molecular ion okay this is the quasi molecular ion so this is the proton transfer okay if they asked us to find the molecular weight means just here we had to add one to the molecular ion so this is said to be quasi molecular ion okay this particular quasi molecular ion moves towards the mass analyzer okay moves means this quasi molecular ion moves towards the mass analyzer okay this mass analyzer is present in tungsten metal emitter okay hope you understood this okay friends next see samples okay just try to remember the block diagram which i have shown you just now friends okay see next samples are loaded on the surface of carbon micro needles by dick in the sample solution okay just now i have shown you the block diagram no so in that means in that block diagram i have shown you micro needles no so on these carbon micro needles samples are loaded okay here the samples are loaded on the surface of micro needles by dipping in the sample solution okay 
if uh, means if it is solid means that solid should be dissolved in liquid okay that solid should be dissolved in liquid and then applied okay if it is liquid means no problem liquid can be directly applied okay if it is solid means that solid should be dissolved in liquid and then it should be applied okay next see if we observe the micro needles the micro needles are really very sharp because from the micro needles or we can say that these micro needles produce very high voltage gradient okay these micro needles produce very high voltage gradient on the tips of the needles so because of these high voltage gradient on the tips of needles so these micro needles or seems to be very sharp okay and here the production of ions occurs by two methods okay hope you understood why the micro needles are sharp means because they produce very high voltage gradient on the tips of needles okay and here the ions can be produced by two methods okay first one is field ionization method next second one is cation attachment method okay first let us see the field ionization method okay in this method the from the molecule one electron get lost so as the electron is getting lost from this particular molecule this molecule will get the positive charge and here one electron get lost okay next see here the electrons are removed from the species or analyte in high electric field okay so under see field means here under high electric field electrons are removed from the species or analyte next cation attachment see cation attachment see to the molecule here the cation will get attached means positively charged proton we can say that is quasi molecular ion is formed in this case so that is cation attachment okay here also ion is formed okay by cation attachment and this is quasi molecular ion okay see cation will be attached to the analyte molecule okay here the cation may be a h plus or na plus etc okay next positive ions will be repelled by the anode okay and they will go towards the mass analyzer we know anode means positively charged okay so that the positive ions will be repelled by the anode because both are positive no okay positive ions will be repelled by the anode so due to repulsion they will move towards the right side that is towards the mass analyzer okay next here the ions doesn't have the sufficient energy that is internal energy for the fragmentation really friends this point is most important friends because here these ions does not have the sufficient energy we can say this energy as internal energy for the fragmentation because for the process of fragmentation to occur internal energy or the sufficient energy is required but here the ions which are formed either by this method or this method these ions doesn't have the sufficient energy okay so that the fragmentation may not occur okay so without fragmentation these ions directly enters into the mass analyzer okay so we will get predominant peaks of molecular ion or quasi ion so the most important point in this is fragmentation is absent okay so here we are getting stable molecular ions okay hope you understood this friends thank you